The official portrait of Mao Zedong overlooking Tiananmen Square in Beijing is one of the most recognizable images in China. But who's the artist behind the painting? I started working as a painter when I was 18 years old at the Beijing Fine Arts Company. That's where I began to learn to paint large-scale portraits like Chairman Mao and other leaders. I think it was fate that my bosses chose me. I'm lucky to have this job and lucky to be able to say that I am the official portrait painter of Chairman Mao. To this day, Ge holds the post, the fourth to do so since 1949. He has painted Mao for more than 35 years. In 1977, at age 24, Ge's first portrait was hung at Tiananmen, a year after Chairman Mao's death. When I took the job, Chairman Mao had just died. It was so stressful when I painted my first Mao painting, but I tried my best. People around China are all very familiar with Mao's face, so there was a lot of the first time the portrait had ever been hung was during the inauguration ceremony of the People's Republic of China on October 1st, 1949. Mao Zedong stood at the balcony of the Tiananmen Gate where the official portrait of him wearing an octagonal hat and a coarse woolen jacket was displayed. Over the years, the face has aged, appeared grim, taken on a fatherly look and even shown a faint smile. At some point, the portrait became more realistic less stylized. Throughout the years, there have been several versions of Mao's portrait. The government changes the portrait according to different circumstances and political needs. There was a period where the painting of Mao only showed one ear. It was a nice portrait, but we were afraid people would feel uncomfortable seeing Mao like that, so we had to modify it. But if you look at this picture carefully, Mao doesn't have a straightforward pose either. He turns to the side a little bit, which is more dynamic and vivid. Ge said his inspiration comes from official photographs, books and videos. But there are many difficulties beyond the artistic. The painting has to face the problem of wind, rain and sunshine all around the year and has to adapt to the changes of light throughout the day. So we have to study and analyze every aspect of it to prevent the distortion of the color. That means choosing the right paint that can stand the different weather conditions. Every year since 1949, prior to October 1st National Day, Mao gets a makeover. A new portrait is hung at Tiananmen. Chairman Mao is not an ordinary person. You have to paint him with deep understanding of his spirit and his connection with the Chinese Revolution. What I'm doing is not just art, it's beyond art. The significance of this portrait carries the same weight as our national flag and emblem. Every year, I try to make the painting better. This journey has been and will always be my most important artistic creation. People do wonder what happened to all the paintings that have been taken down. Are they being auctioned off or placed in the museum? While Ge said the paintings are a cultural relic to the Chinese people and have never been part of any commercial activity. They are the spirit of this nation. Therefore, all paintings have been destroyed and none of them will ever be displayed to the public. At least, not for now.